Hey everybody, this is going to be a follow-up video on the Easter eggs found in the Detective Pikachu trailer 2. Uh, so let's dive in and uh, talk about what we're what we're dealing with, dealing with right now. Um, so the first one I'm going to address is the um, picture with Flareon that comes out of a Pokeball, I'm assuming. And uh, behind Flareon are three familiar legendary Pokemon that um, come from a famous region known as Sinnoh. Now, we all know Sinnoh Remix, they're among us. It's not going to happen until 2020. Just just relax, people. I keep hearing pe I, I keep hearing YouTubers talking about Sinnoh Remix, Sinnoh Remix. I get it. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. Just wait. Enjoy Gen 8. It's going to be a great generation, okay? Um, but it, it, it's awesome to, to see these little Easter eggs in here to, to kind of tease us and like, ah, oh, it's coming. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be there. We know it's going to be there, you know, because Dialga, Palkia. And I don't know if that's Darkrai or Arceus, but it kind of looks like Darkrai with the wispy thing. But the golden emblemy thingy around it, kind of, it's leading me to, to believe that it's Arceus. But either way, they're all Sinnoh Pokemon, so uh, that that's whatever. Um, moving on to the thumbnail picture. Upon first glance, people might think that these are the three gems from Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. You know, the Lustrous Orb, the, the Gracious Orb and the adamant orb but unfortunately they're not uh and what they are are the well the leftmost one is an icy stone used to evolve certain types of ice types then the one to the right of that is a never melt ice uh and then the one to the right of that is uh either a dome fossil or a helix fossil so unfortunately uh that it would have been cool to see those three orbs represented, especially because of the previous Sinnoh related Easter egg, uh, and also the Sinnoh Easter egg found in the uh, first trailer, where uh, uh, Tim basically goes to the Sinnoh region and competes in the championship. I thought that was a little, that was a nice touch. But one Easter egg that I love and this is really ton tons of kudos for whoever came up with the idea for Tim's t-shirt it's an it's a red unknown but specifically an H now why is it why is it significant that it's red why is it significant that it's an H um if anybody here watching has played a lost silver fans will know exactly what I'm trying to get at here and if you haven't played the game, I won't spoil it for you. I'll try and get a link for that game so whoever hasn't played it can play it. Um, I'll put that in the description. Um, but yeah, I, th those are the um, main two Easter eggs that I kind of wanted to talk about. Another thing that I noticed was uh, the Noctowl coffee sign. Other than the Flareon scene and the other picture that comes from the first teaser trailer there's no real indicator of of Sinnoh remakes although you could count some Johto references as maybe a potentially Sinnoh remake because the Johto region and Sinnoh has like a they, they have some sort of synergy all right well that's gonna do it for this video talking about Easter eggs and stuff I hope you all had a wonderful Pokemon day I sure did uh, I'm definitely excited to talk more about Pokemon if you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to help my algorithms. And if not, maybe I'll find something else to do. But until then, hope you all have a wonderful time and uh, thanks for stopping by.